another video this week. Today I went shopping with my grandma. We got the bus into a local town called Dunfermline. We used to go there when we were younger, but when I was younger and stuff. So we went again today. We've not been in such a long time. So we were out shopping today. I went into Primark, loads of, well, some charity shops and other little shops. And this is in fact my Lion King slash Lion Guard haul for today. I brought back quite a few things from different places and I love what I got so I'm going to show you guys um, what I got. So everything's in order in my new look bag. Uh, the first place we went into was actually Poundland. We went in for juice and we came out with this Lion Guard colouring in book or play pack. It comes with pencils and two colouring books and of course it's from Poundland, it's a pound. I'm actually going to save my local store tomorrow. I'm going up to buy the new Langard magazine, like the monthly one. Um, if they have it tomorrow, I'm going to go in Poundland and try and find another one because I want one to open and see what's inside it. So it's really interesting, really lovely and a great Langard bargain. Uh, the next place I went into was WH Smith and I picked up this Langard sticker scene book. Um, it was three ninety nine. I was have been looking for this for quite a while. I didn't want to buy it online. I know I could easily find it in store. My local WH Smith shut down last year, so I couldn't get this hands on. But um, I found it in the one in Dunfermline, and it's a really nice book. And it gives you like a description of I hope you can see that <laughs> of all like the Langard characters and members. I wish they make they would make another one, but have like Simba, Nala, Kiara, the lionesses and stuff in it. Because there's not much Nala merchandise for Langard apart from the Just Blake plush I have. And I saw her and I just had to get her. So that was this book. The next place we went into Primark, I got a couple tops. The first top I got, I got this nice Simba one. Uh, this was £4. And the design, it's meant to have this design by the way. Because you can see like it's grey around the nose and stuff. It's meant to be like that. I questioned it myself but when me and my grandma were comparing the tops, they actually were all the same. So... Uh, the next top I got, this was actually reduced. It was retail for £4, but it, um, what do you call it? Like it's scanned for £2. I, I like it because it's got Nal on it and it says The Lion King, and it was reduced to £2 as well. Um, so I was really happy with that bargain. Got a nice cheap Lion King shirt. The next thing I bought from Primark, when the last thing, is this little Simba shopper bag. Um, it's actually like a little lunch bag. Um, this was £2. The weekend bag, like the bigger bag, um, was actually staring at me in the face and I really wanted it but then I was like, I have the backpack, don't want this, but I still need to find like the bigger shopper version of this. Um, it's quite big, it's in like the same style as the other, um, this one, and then the same style of this one because it's closer so it's just like a bigger bag. Um, so that was by Primark shop. I went into charity shops after this. Um, the first one I went into, I got this original 1994 Lion King puzzle. Um, it has Scar the Hyenas, Timon, Pumbaa, Rafiki, Simba on it. Uh, it's really lovely and I like it because it's like the original poster. Like some posters would have this on it. And this was 99 pence. And when I look at it, it was originally... Uh, the first time they put this out, it was 150 And then I bought it today for 99 pence. So I guess it struggled to sell. But... You know, there's always like, it's always the jigsaws that n no one ever buys and it's such a shame because some of the pictures are really pretty and really gorgeous. Um, after that I went into another charity shop and I got, I can get them out, I got this Pumba hot water bottle cover. The cashier actually said it was hers and donated him because um, he was just up in the loft and I said, well I'm happy I came here but I'm actually, like I collect Lion King. And she was really happy, he was going to a good home where he would be appreciated. This is actually the last one I needed to complete my set. I got Cub Simba like four years ago from a car boot sale, brand new with tags. Um, I'm sure I already told you the story where I got like free stuff with them. Um, I got the adult Simba two years ago from a charity shop. And then two years, it only took me four years to complete my set. Um, he was £1.25 and he is in absolute lovely condition. So he's going to join the others on my door. Um, he has been online on eBay so lot, like lots and lots, I've seen listings, but I knew he was such a common thing to actually be able to go out and buy if I just looked in the right places. So I'm happy I held off and he was £1.25 and I only paid just under £2 each for all of my bottle covers so I'm so happy. But my grandma was like, I'll get you him since he was the last one you needed. So I'm really thankful grandma because I didn't have change. <laughs> but I love him. 
So the last thing I bought um, from Home Bargains is this little Simba puzzle thing. Um, it's like you wet them and you stick them on like your bath tiles. This is 29 pence and it's really lovely and I really like the little things that come with it. So it's just for children. <laughs> just for children, I'm nearly 18. But it's super lovely and it's really nice. So it's a good little bargain at 29 pence. So that is my shopping haul for today. I did actually think my Disney store parcel would be here to unbox this with my things. Um, I bought the Christmas Kion ornament and the Christmas Rafiki ornament. They only got added on the Disney store last week so I ordered them and you got 15% off with this code. It's not valid anymore I'm afraid but I always leave my Disney store orders like I only get stuff when there's sales on or promo codes. I'm just stingy like that. Um, so I got them for £10.18 each and they retail for £11.99. I missed out on Simba last year or else I wouldn't have bought the Christmas ornaments for another few months. But the Simba last year was discontinued around October, November time. So I have to buy him from America and it will cost me like two times the price but I need them for my set. The figures are super lovely. I'll probably do a video. If they come tomorrow you'll probably find an unboxing video on them because they're too cute and I don't want to leave them, like, not make a video on them for a long time. So anyway, that's my ramble. That's my haul. Um, you've heard the story. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's haul video. I've been making these quite a lot. I've just been going out shopping and throwing the cash away, I guess. Um, so yeah, that's my haul for today. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video. As I've said, I'll keep repeating myself, but I'm too tired. I've been out since like 10. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And tomorrow, if my parcel does come, or maybe Friday, there'll be a little, little treat video on those. And on Saturday, the Posh Posh line uh, of medium plushies will continue with Fully, who I showed you, I think I bought her last week. So see you guys either tomorrow or the weekend. Bye!